Hello and welcome to Joburg Today. My name is Dumi Chapo, bringing you the best of what's going down in and around Johannesburg. American R&B singer and songwriter Amarian is right here in Johannesburg to join our very own Anati on his Artifact tour. We chat to him about his music and what he thinks about Joburg. The American R&B singer Omarion is in our beautiful city and we caught up with him talking about his music, the tour and also if he enjoys our very own food. I'm, I, well, well, first of all, what up? What's up, your boy Omarion in Africa? Hey, I know you heard me say it time and time again But they would walk your world Wanting to spread, you know, uh, the message you know, uh, the feeling, you know, um, I think that that's what, you know, music is all about. It's just about sharing, you know, and I'm just so happy that, you know, I've been making music for almost two decades in 2020, you know, and I'm still very young. So, you know, um, the levels would just keep going up. So I really felt, uh, I really felt home and, and it was just, it was just really cool. I think, I think, uh, you know, the black culture longs for that type of connection and culture, you know, and I actually did this thing called uh, 23andMe. And um, it says that I'm uh, my bloodline is 60% sub-Saharan African. You know what I mean? So it's like a, you know. That's down here. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying, you know. I'm back at home. You did. <laughs> I mean, I think, I think for me, you know, and um, with a lot of the, the interviews, you know, I try to express to people, you know, without getting too political, it's like, you know, it's a lot, it's, it's a lot of racial issues going on back home, you know, and a lot of the black people don't feel like we have at home. We don't have a culture like that, you know, we don't have, you know, it's like we were told that, you know, y'all from Africa, you know what I'm saying? But no one has really ever really came down here and really seen the culture, you know, um, and if I can definitely be, you know, a beacon you know, a watchtower to let everybody know, like, yo, this is our home. You know, this is a place that you can come. This is a place that they will embrace you, and you can do music, and you can do whatever you want to do here in South Africa. Omarion's first meal in South Africa was chicken, and he's still looking forward to tasting more South African dishes, since he'll be here for the next 12 days. No, I love Nando's. Oh my God, it was lit. Yeah, I mean, um, we, w I'm, I'm actually gonna be experiencing a, a home cooked meal. Shout out to moms, <laughs> cause uh, we about to go get, you know, we about to go get some auntie's food. So, it's Omarion will be joining our very own Anati on his Artifact tour on the 30th of September. We also spoke to Anati about his collaboration with Omarion and why he literally chose him for this tour. You know, just being around this man, you know, I learned so much just in terms of being a better human being, you know what I'm saying, working on music and how, you know, that all come in it. You know, a human, you know what I'm saying? It's not just about us being in studio trying to create vibes, it's really about the holistic point of view which we carried and he's really told me a lot about that. Just an electric, electrifying experience, you know, from myself and my brother Omarion here. You know, we had to bring Omarion out just to give the people an experience of what, what we as artists, you know, can bring together in terms of collaboration and, you know, collaborating on sound, visuals and just an experience, you know, for the people. I'm for my show for Joburg today. Like us on Facebook, JoeBigToday.tv, and follow us on Twitter at JoeBigToday. Cooking may be on your list of hobbies, but the secret Josie chef will school you to make every meal a masterpiece. After much consideration and the fact that I'm a foodie, it was no-brainer that I should return back to the secret Josie chef's lair to try my hand at one of his cooking classes, which he holds regularly. Paul, I'm not going to lie to you. I can't get enough of this place. Let's talk about how you started up with the whole idea. When did this whole idea of actually doing the cookery pop up into mind? I don't want to say it was over a drunken dinner, but it was over a drunken dinner. <laughs> we were kind of out in the bush, a group of friends, and I booked a place with this huge table and a big kitchen. And I started working with my friends and I started saying to everyone, like, come on, give me a hand. And we actually had the most incredible weekend. And I was teaching and sharing with everyone to cook. And then it was this natural connection. Everyone kept saying to me through the secret Josie chef, like, when are you going to do teaching? And I'd done a few classes before. And then I thought, you know what? Life's short, why not? And well, here we are. <laughs> And what's been the response so far? It's incredible. 
anything less, you know, it, it's just been unbelievable. We started out with a plan to do nine classes a month. We're kind of hitting 20 in a month. And we've got pressure continuously to add more. But this is a sort of, it's a, it's a, it's something of love. I don't do it out of, so we're going to kind of keep it around that sort of 20 classes a month mark. But what makes this place a convenient venue to actually do the cookery? I think that it is, I mean, where it's based, you know, it's proximity to Santon and Rosebank and everything, it is okay. quite central. But at the same time, I think, I mean, I've chosen a spot that's really quite hidden and you can't find it within the main retail space and that ties into my whole secret Josie Chef brand and I wanted it to be this sort of secret kitchen you could escape to, come in, have the most amazing evening with friends, it's social cooking, get a little bit drunk, learn to cook a couple of things, and then basically sit down, eat dinner and walk away from the mess. The class itself is very hands-on and Paul's demonstrations allow for me to relax just a little. Though I may be comfortable in the kitchen, it's always a good idea to have someone guide you through new recipes and cooking methods. The atmosphere in this place is similar to having a bunch of friends come over who you get to cook for and enjoy a really great meal. I was paired with two wonderful ladies who made me feel comfortable and involved in the whole cooking process. So who pretty much comes in? Everyone. We've got all sorts of people. We've got people that are professional cooks, people who are wanting to learn because we do a lot of country themed sort of uh, evenings, Morocco, Spain, that type of thing. You know, someone who's got an interest in it, they might come in. We've got people who have never cooked before. We've got what we call our social cooks and they are our regulars and we've actually seen in two and a half months, we've got regulars who've been in here six, eight, ten times to come through for classes and they just say it's the most amazing evening out. Do you see yourself actually expanding this uh, whole concept? No. Why not? Speak to me later. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at the moment. Not at the moment, but we've had so much sort of interest and people have, you know, we've, but we kind of, I'm a believer that you've got to focus on what you do. When I started my restaurant, I was the same. I focused, I got it to exactly where it needed to be. And we're going to do the same thing with this. All right, well, I look forward to it, dude. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm a semi-professional. Well, good, I'll make sure I put you with a group of non-professionals and you can make sure that- As long as it's in the back. <laughs> as long as it's in the back. And what a night it was. This experience is something I'm definitely gonna do again. I'm Leroy, Man About Town. My name is Chef Coco, and you are watching Joburg Today. That's all for today. For more on the city, do check out our playlist. From myself, Dumin Tlapo, and the Joburg Today crew, it's goodbye.